Good morning. Jeanette, good morning. Good morning. My name is ATM Ree. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know, we're here to have a nice conversation. So, uh, how old are you? 43. 53? 43. 43? Yep. Where are you from? Um, originally from East Falls, um, and then I moved to the Northeast, and I've been stuck down here for like 20 years. Okay, where's East Falls located at, for those uh, who don't know? Like Ridge and Midville. Huh? Like Ridge and Midville. Okay. Um, Ridge Avenue, right before Roxborough. Okay. What brings you out here to uh, Kensington today? Well, I just came from home, and um, I finally got my own place now. Um, Can you speak up some, man? I'm I sorry. said I finally got my own place now. I just came from home, um, come oh. down here to do my thing, you know what I mean? Get high, do, you know, hustle, get a couple of hours. Where? It's, it's, it's a sad story. It's a, it's a fucked up life. Yeah. It's sorry. Excuse me. Um, it's something I wouldn't recommend anybody fucking getting into. Right. How long you been dealing with Kensington for? Close to 20 years. 20 years? Close to it, yeah. Oh, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. How was your childhood? It was all right. I mean, you know, it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. You right. know what I mean? I had a good childhood once my mom got with my stepfather. Okay. Was your upbringing like middle class, lower class? It's middle class. Middle class, mm -hmm. all right. Um, you have any siblings? I do. Um, my brother got murdered. My biological brother got murdered. Um, I have a couple step siblings. Okay. But, yeah, my brother Billy, he got murdered in 2003. Wow. A lot of, like, tragic losses in your family life. So what's your source of hustling out here? Listen, I do a little bit of everything. Mine is tricking. I don't... I don't you do care. everything mine is tricking. So yeah, boosting, boost. panhandling. You do it all. Have you been doing this the whole 20 years of your life? No, no, no. No? No, the first little bit of my I bid, I was, I was out on the ab. Okay. I did all that. So you, you have experienced it before? I did. Was it a rough experience to have? It was. Very rough. Well. I, um, I had a, a very bad incident. Yeah. Um, so that's when I had stopped, you know, jumping in and out of cars. Um, can you speak on the incident? That truck's so Yeah, loud. I was, um... I was like uh, brutally raped. Are so, you serious? Yeah. So it wasn't like you know, it wasn't a good incident. Um, and then the this man Jeffrey Stockbridge put me in a book called Kensington Blues, without my uh, without consent. My, wow. He put my picture, my real name, everything in this book. Was it about your life and everything? Or? It's, it's about like everybody. It's like about a lot of people down Kensington, and he's got. Um, but the fact that he put my picture in there and my real name, I got children, I got grandchildren. Right? Yeah. And you're not even eating off of that. Like, right, and he's selling it for $70 a book. $70 a book? Probably made a, made a killing. Yeah, I'm trying you know? to uh, deal with my lawyer now about it, so. Okay. Yeah. Getting things done. So, um, this is a hard topic to speak on, but um, when you was brutally raped, did that like end the prostitute, like the uh, day end in prostituting? It did. It, it did. It did. I couldn't say it was. It was really bad. It was. Um, it. He raped me with an adamant, you know, an adamant object like the club that went on the car. Um, what? Yeah. Like, it, it was bad. It was really bad. Um, I'm so happy. Knocked, you... He knocked my teeth out. It, it was not. Oh it man. Good. I'm so happy you blessed to still be here and stuff. You got any clean time under your boat? I do. Um, I've had. Uh, I've had a year. Or we earned some change when I lived in Bucks County. Okay. Um, I, you know, of course, when I was incarcerated. Yeah. Um, I had another like like a year down in Georgia when I lived down there. Okay. I don't know why I keep why I come back. It's it's because I hate every minute of it. Yeah. I hate every minute of getting high. I despise it. How's the how different are the drugs now than they were back in the day? Oh my God, so different. Yeah. So so different. Everything about it is different. You get you only stay high for maybe an hour and a half, two hours on the fentanyl, and you got to do something else. Um, it's killing people left and right, like literally killing people. How many um, friends you think you lost in the twenty years to drugs? <laughs> more than I'd like to count. You know, a lot more than I'd like to say. I think uh, somebody else that was doing interviews um, had said that there's only like me and one other person that's still out here from 2007 when he was doing interviews mm. so 
Yeah, but she, I think it was me and her right there. Me we're, and Amy. Oh, she's think, been around in a, for a while, too. Yeah, me. I think me and her were the only ones that are still out here from that mm. time. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty sad. So you got housing and stuff right now, I did. right? Yeah, um, yeah, that was that's a plus. Yeah, I got my housing. How long so, have you been on the roof for? I've uh, about five months now. Five months now. Yeah. So were you out on the streets before then? Yep, they have me listed as like um, chronically homeless. It's a uh, like triple one status. It's like um, where they 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 put it down as like you've been homeless within you know Philadelphia for you know ten plus years or so, and um, yeah, I have been. So I finally got my housing. It's um, I congratulations. Only, I will have it for the rest <laughs> of my life. Oh, um, congratulations! Yeah. So I will not let anything fuck that up. Don't excuse my language. Nah, don't. Nah, don't. there's nothing. There's nothing that could put me back sleeping on the pavement. I don't want that. Yeah, don't. No. I'm, I'm, that I'm up blessed by you. Blessed at Yeah, and now, now there's no excuse for me to not get my shit together. Get your stuff together now. So what's some of the hardest things you had to deal with when you was homeless, living out in the streets? Oh God, it being, it, I mean, getting robbed, getting, you know, getting, getting beat up, getting, you know, I've had my throat slit. I've, I mean, I've had all types of shit happen to me. Like things that like you would, you would only read in a book, you know, like there's just, it's all, to, it, it's crazy. I remember calling my mom when this uh, guy had cut my throat yeah. And I was walking around for like two days with like rolls of, of, of paper tail because it wouldn't stop bleeding. Oh my God. And so you, de you didn't get no medical attention. You just dug it out? I finally went because it wouldn't stop bleeding, but I was scared to go because I had a warrant. So my mom had told me to go and say that I did it myself. That I had, you know, I was scared to talk to the police, that I had was trying to kill myself. So that's how I went and got it. Are you considered like an OG out here in Kensington? Pretty much. Yeah. 20 a years around. Kids, a lot of the kids call me mom. <laughs> a lot of kids call you mom. A lot of the kids out here, that you got a lot of the young, you know, the young ones that are out here. I try to tell them, you know, get the fuck out of here now. Quit while you're ahead because you don't want to be sitting around here when you're 43 like me. You give them advice? I try to tell them to get out of here, yeah. Yeah. I try my hardest to, but it's like the pot calling the kettle black, though. You know yeah. what I mean? What's the youngest age, like an addict, homeless addict that's like, you know, running wild out here? What's the youngest age you've seen? About 16. About 16 years old? Yeah. Are, maybe, they, st maybe, are they still here today? Or? I'm not sure. You're not sure? I try to I try to just like hit and miss anymore. Okay. It's it's changed down here so much, it's not it's not the same. It's not the same not, at all. People used to look out for one another back in the day. They ain't nothing like that now. They're not looking out no more. No, nah, nobody looks. Everybody's for themselves. I see, you know, boyfriends robbing girlfriends, girlfriends robbing boy. You know what I mean? I see. Yeah. Robbing yeah. her best friends, it's it's horrible. It's you not know, I asked about the relationships down here, and it's not much positive. It's like, oh, we're just using each other type of deal. Pretty much. They're just bidding off of each other. Yeah. I see you it's got... Not, I'm sorry. I see you got a couple of tattoos. A lot of different tattoos, yeah. I'm you got like one on your face right there, or...? It started to. I got to get a different... I got to get another... I got to get it done. It was some okay. guy started to do it, yeah. I got to get a fit and fix, though. Okay. Um, what, what, what is it going to say? Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what do your neck tattoos represent? Uh, this is, um, I'm like a sign-in sheet. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it, uh, people that I've been with, um, uh, past relationships, says Bill, it says Mike, and then my mom. Oh, uh, dude you used to date? Yeah. Okay. And I don't even, well, one's a sugar daddy. Was a sugar daddy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Why I did that, I don't know. Don't <laughs> young? I got tattoos all over. It's a, yeah. Young, do, you regret, do you regret any of them? Or? Every one of them. Every one of them? Except my kids' names and my grandson's name. <laughs> yeah. So what's your favorite meal to eat? Favorite meal? Oh, God, anything right about now. <laughs> oh, yeah? Cheese steak right now. <laughs> <laughs> anything, No, right? I like lasagna, though. You like lasagna? Mm -hmm. So, uh, when's your birthday? I never got that. Oh, September. September 18th. Oh, so it just passed not too long ago, right? Yep, yep I'm a Virgo. Are you spiritual at all? I am. I do. I do believe in God, but, I mean, I, da I, mean, I have doubts, you know what I mean? Yeah. I try not to... I try to want. I try to want to believe that there's something after this. Yeah, absolutely. That I'll get to see my loved ones again. I try to think that this is the hell. <laughs> I just want to tell you this. I know you know this. You experienced woman. You know, you still got a chance to you know to make a whole 360 with your life. You've seen people come and go. You you you've been out here for 20 years. So I feel like God has given you chances. You know, to get a turnaround. And maybe you could help these young ladies out because you've been in their shoes. And you've seen everything. 
what I'm saying? I'm going to be trying to get in. I've been trying to get into rehab. I'm going to try again. Try today. Yeah. I'm going to try you got the housing life. now. Congratulations yeah. to that. Yeah, That's a you. start to success. It is. You feel me? Keep climbing up. You got kids and grandkids, right? Yeah. I know they want the best for you. They don't want you out here. No. You know what I mean? Where do you see yourself in six months? Hopefully not here. Hopefully just working, doing something, maybe working part time. You know right. what I mean? Spending time with my family. Not being active in my addiction. Right. That's where I hope to see myself in six, in six months. I hope, not to, I hope not to be doing this. Yeah, not to be doing this, right? Because you still like, you know, boosting and hustling and stuff. Do you hustle on the block or? No, I try nah. not to. I'm trying to stay out of jail. Stay out of jail, right? Yeah. How many times have you been to jail? A good amount. Good amount. Give Please an see. estimate. Oh, it can even just 10, be for 15, a day. 10, 15 times. Dang, 10, huh? 15 times? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I like to thank you for your time. Thank You've been you. wonderful. Uh, I enjoyed our conversation. Thank you, I appreciate um, it. Hopefully, you know, we're real free to make some change with your life yeah. and help others. Yep. All Time Media, thank you. Thank you. All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.